Welcome to Guns and Gear Network, everyone. Appreciate you tuning in. Today we're going to take a look at an overlooked item that I think every prepper should have. Stay tuned. Welcome back, guys. Appreciate you tuning in. So today we're going to take a look at something that I think every prepper or homesteader should have uh, in their arsenal or their tools um, that I feel like uh, everybody should use and have on hand. And what it is, is one of the snake catchers. Uh, the other day I was out here and uh, just so happened to look up at one of my birdhouses up there. You can see it. And sure enough, a snake was poking his head out the um, uh, hole there. And I said, dang. Uh, so I was trying to figure out what to get him with, and I didn't have anything. And I had this, which is one of those things like you pick up garbage with. And so I was able to make it work, but it was not great. See, it only pinches it here on the tip, so you have to be real careful how you grab it. It was just a black snake, so it wasn't real aggressive. Matter of fact, it never offered to strike or anything. And that's the point of having something like this because if you um, are storing foods and you know if you've got mice things like that there's certain snakes you want to try keeping around some you don't uh, you want to get them away because the worst thing that can happen like say in this pandemic situation where hospitals are shut down uh, or at least on very minimal uh, staffing and they're you know overwhelmed and you get bit by a poisonous snake Maybe you're out doing some gardening, whatever. But you need to be able to move those snakes sometimes. Sometimes they'll get in your home. I've had them get in my basement. Matter of fact, I was at work the other day, and believe it or not, there was a baby snake in my office. Um, of course, I just picked it up. We stuck it in a cardboard box and moved it. But a bigger snake would be very hard. And sometimes you don't want to kill a snake, even if it's a poisonous snake in, say, your home. You don't want the blood everywhere and just whatever. It's a disaster. So the easiest way to do it is to catch him and then remove them out to a safe spot and then do what you need to do whether it be relocate them or uh, to uh, dispatch them kill them and that sort of thing so i'm going to show you this one here my son's helping me today say hello son Hi. so here's the deal uh, this one here i got off of amazon i will have in the section below like i always do down there uh, a link to my store you can go there and shop for this and other items doesn't cost you any more and um, you can buy there we get a little small commission because of that so what this is is has the grabbers here and then it has a long shaft show them the handle son over here on the camera the the gripper portion so and then you have this here that has it attaches here goes down the shaft and i've added this and we'll talk about this here in just a second but this is how you do it so what i've done i've set up a couple i don't have any snakes obviously um around so i've set up a couple little small different diameter little rubber hoses and my son's going to show you how easy it is he's 11 so uh if a kid can do it uh, of course obviously an adult can do it so go ahead and pick up the smaller one son well, what you want to do when you're picking up snakes is you want to pick them up um about where he's at so if this was the head uh that way it's uh if you pick him up back here at the tail he's got a long length area to be able to strike even though you've got i uh, forget the length on this i think it's 48 inches to be honest with you i'll, I'll find out that and put it in the section below but um you want to grab about a quarter of the way up a third of the body whatever uh where the head would be here now we'll do the same thing with the larger one if you look it grips it uh go ahead and squeeze it son pretty tight it grips down on it but it shouldn't hurt the snake really um they have different styles of these these actually clamp all the way through see where it hooks down here at the bottom so the snake cannot get out at all and you can see i'm pulling on that pretty good there's no way for that snake to escape and, and get away so let's go ahead and lay this one down and we'll pick up the other one the little smaller diameter one to show you that So that's probably a little high up. Yeah, there you go. About right there is where I would grab one that small or that big. Uh, be careful when you get debris in here because what's going to happen is you're not going to be able to clamp down tight enough. Squeeze down a little more. So let's see. Put it over here in the camera right about there. And let's see. So that's pretty tight. Shouldn't be able to get out of there like that. And watch you hold this. So what I'm going to show you with this so if you grab him or her of the snake up 
you're going to be able to safely move it where you need to go and then simply put it back down this right here is a little bungee that i've added some of these come with a lock right here um at the time when i was looking and buying one of these i didn't really pay attention to the lock situation i don't know that it's that important but i can see where it would come in handy and so i've added this little piece of bungee here and what that's for is i can pull this down if you're if you're by yourself with no help i can at least now take this bungee and put around here like this and lock it in where the handle is now locked so or at least push down where if i needed to uh do this the only negative i will say about this particular model is it's fairly heavy to be honest with you uh, i wish it was a little lighter uh, maybe made out of aluminum or whatever but this right here is actually made of stainless steel so it's fairly heavy to be honest with you i mean it's not unmanageable but it is a little heavy but you may want to add a little piece of bungee or something if you don't get the locking model. Uh, I'll put in the uh, store uh, maybe a couple different versions for you guys. And they also make uh, tongs uh, or um, a hook, I'm sorry, that uh, some people will use too in conjunction with this. Some people just use a hook only. Uh, I would, I'm probably going to buy a hook to be honest with you because sometimes snakes get into places that this couldn't reach into. So I would want to be able to get him uh, out in the open far enough to where then I could get a good uh, placement on the body. Um, again, make sure you're placing, especially larger snakes. If this is the head up here, say this is the head right here, and you grabbed back here at his tail, he's got this whole length here, and I'll show you. Could he strike me? If you look, yes. So if I grab the wrong end, now you could use that to you know, coax him out of somewhere and then re-grab where you need to like that. Uh, but be careful when you're grabbing these up um, and using them. I made some homemade uh, years ago uh, that uh, I still I can't seem to find. So anyway, that's why I wound up buying these. But anyway, guys, thought this would uh, be helpful to you. Well worth the money in my opinion. Um, I, I wish I'd bought one a long time ago because we occasionally do have snakes. I uh, almost stepped on a copperhead last year. It was a baby um, in my backyard. Something like this is real handy to have uh, to be able to move snakes around and so forth. But anyway, guys, hope you uh, hope you uh, found the video helpful. And if you have any questions, post those below. And as always, guys, like, share, and subscribe. Bring another video shortly. Have a great day.